Okay, so I've expected that you've gone in and written out your own little chart and kind of started to get a feel for these different numbers. You're not going to have them memorized yet, obviously, but again, there'll be a point in time where you just know that if you see all ones, I mean, you start out with the easy ones. If you see all ones, that's a that's an F, right? And if you see a one zero one zero, that's an A. If you see a one zero zero zero, that's an eight. And you'll get to a point where you start to like some of them. I have to think about for a second. Thirteen and fourteen are the ones that that tend to give me trouble. I have to think about for just a second. Uh, and and eleven's another one. So there are some that take a little bit longer, but uh, you'll start to just be able to memorize. Um, it's particularly if you get down the eights, fours, twos, ones position, because you can just say that's a two and that's a one, that's a three. That's a four and that's a two, that's a six, and so on and so forth. So anyway, we'll get to those uh, the actual conversions in a second, but you can start to do that with the individual uh, uh, bits. Okay, and so if I were to just write out something like this, one, zero, zero, one, what is that? Well, hopefully you're looking at it going, that's an eight, and a one, that's a nine. Oh, I already did that one. That was boring. <laughs> Let's try another one. Zero, oh, I went away from the pen and I'm using my mouse. Zero, one, zero, one. Well, I've got a four and a one, that's a five. And so start to think in that process, always this eight, two, four, one uh, that we've got with that uh, base two. Now, that's only with base two. Remember, it's going to be different in base 10 and base 16, but in base two, that's the way it is. Okay, so let's actually do some conversions then between the bases. If I have a number in bi in hexadecimal, so let's get a number like this. Uh, let's start out with a, an easy one. So A2, and that's in hexadecimal or base 16, okay? and I want to convert that into a binary number. How do I do that? Well, as it turns out, because 16 is this multiple four times of two, so two times two is four, times two is eight, times two is 16, we can actually just use shorthand to, uh, or a, a type of shorthand, to, to get these numbers. We can actually just take each digit individually and convert that. And so what's an A in base two? Well, it's gonna be a one, zero, one, zero. And again, this might, you might have to look at the chart for a second, but what we have is an eight and a two gives us a 10, and a 10 is an A in hexadecimal, so one, zero, one, zero. Um, and then we have a 2. Well, how do we represent a 2? If we picture, the way I always do it is I, I draw up here my little chart, and I say this is the 1s, this is the 2s, this is the 4s, this is the 8s. Okay? If I have a, if I want to represent a 2, then that means that one's going to have to be on, and everything else is off. So I get a 0, 0, 1, 0. And this number in base 2 is equivalent to an A2 in base 16. Now, let's check that just to make sure that we're not up in the night here. So if I take this number, one zero, um, well, let's do the A2 first. Okay, so I've got two digits. If I take each value to its positional value, I'm in base 16. This is the zero's position, which means each of these is worth a 1. I've got a base 16 in the 1's position. Each of these is worth a 16. Okay, so I've got a 2 in the 1's position and an A in the 16's position. Well, what's A times 16? An A is a 10 times 16 will give us 160, and a 2 uh, to the 1, or 2 times 1, is a 2. So this is 162 in base 10, okay? So we just converted this A2 to base 10, and it's 162, and we'll do more of those conversions later. But that's the way we do it. Uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> um, 
an A2 is the same thing as 162. So if, if you met somebody with 16 fingers and they said, hey, I have A2 apples on the table, you would know that they have 162 apples on their table. Okay, let's do the same process, but for the base 10 number now. So we're gonna draw out, we have eight slots. Okay, and again, we're just gonna go, uh, you know, two to the zero, two to the one, and so on and so forth. But we know in base two, it's just gonna be one, and then two, and then four, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128, okay? And I'm just proving this to you here. I'm kind of jumping ahead to the other conversions to be able to prove this to you, but we have a 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, okay? Which tells me I have 1, 128, I have 1, 32, I have 1, Two. So if we take 128 plus 32, that gives us 160, plus 2 gives us 162 in base 10. So this number in base 2 is equivalent to that number in base 10, which is equivalent to, uh, well, it's actually equivalent to A2 in base 16. They're all equal. It's just counting by different numbers. Somebody counts by twos. Somebody counts by 16, somebody else counts by 10s. But it, it represents the same number of things in the end. Okay? So that proves that we can take and take this number and split it out and, and uh, just convert to the equivalent digit. And this is a nice little shorthand way of doing this um, to be able to convert. So let's do some other conversions. So I'm going to get a new sheet. And I'm going to take a number like, uh, I don't know what, uh, A25 in base 16 is equivalent to what in base 2? Again, I get to just split these out and then convert each digit individually. Um, and so I get a 1, 0, 1, 0. An 8 and a 2 is a 10, which is an A. I get, I'm going to do a 2 now, so I get 0, 0, 1, 0. And then I get a 5, which is going to be 0, 1, 0, 1. This number in binary is the exact same thing. And again, maybe I'll draw it out like this. This number in binary is the exact same thing. A25 is the same thing as 10100010101. And picture, this is the way I always picture it. If we just got a bunch of apples, I don't know why I'm so interested in apples, but we get a bunch of apples and we lay them out on the table and both people start counting, but they count in their own individual ways. When the 16-fingered people get done counting, they're going to have A25 apples. When the two-fingered people are done counting, they're going to have 10100010101 apples. Just by this process of adding one, pushing out to the next zero, adding one, pushing out to the next zero, and doing that for that whole process, this is where they'll end up to get that same number. Okay, let's do another one. If I take a number like um, A, F, D, E in base 16, what is that in, in base 2? Well, the answer is going to be 1010 0, 1, 0 for the A. And again, where am I getting that? I I'm just have it memorized. I could just as easily do the conversion. What's an F? Well, an F should be one of the first ones you memorize because it's just all ones. A D, now see, I'm going to have to think for a second. What is a D? A D is a 13 in, and I could do that by saying, okay, so 9, A, B, C, D. Okay, that's a 13. So to make a 13, I have an 8 and a 2 and a 1. Zero in the in the twos spot. Oh, I did that. Not an eight and a two. An eight and a four and a one. Sorry, confused you for a second. 
zero in the twos spot. How about an E? Well, an E is a 14, and so that's going to be one less than 15, so that's going to be a one, 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 zero. Make sense? Okay, very good. So that's how we do a hex to binary conversion. All right, so we'll look at next doing a binary to hex conversion. And, and that'll be in the next video. Uh, you're brimming with anticipation, I can tell.